Well, I was trying to figure out the best thing RCA to bring tonight, so I, I figured I'd try to bring something that maybe hasn't been seen too much. Uh, I should start by saying that I take somewhat frequent trips, or did, uh, down to central South Carolina, and every time I go there and spend a week, I'll always go around to the local flea markets and tag sales and junk stores and what have you. And Well, last time, well, a few, time, a few years ago when I was down there, I was in a junk store, uh, and they had a basement level. And in the basement, as a matter of fact, you could see that it had been flooded with water and stuff was damaged, but fortunately this book was sitting up on top of a pile of boxes. And what this book is... Uh, is an RCA broadcast equipment catalog for television and radio uh, from 1951. And the stuff in here is just kind of unbelievable. Everything from the broadcast consoles. To um, the studios that they install them in, pictures of New York and Philadelphia radio studios. Probably one of the, one of the neatest things are the microphones, and everything goes into there's the, the transmitters. Uh, this is from about 1951, I believe. I found the date in it. Uh, oddly, they didn't put a year, uh, and it still has the order forms in the back. So if you guys want to order something out of Camden, I, I guess we could send in the order form and. Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, 1950. I, I knew it was sometime around then. Um, and I have seen these around. I haven't seen many of them, but I, I mean, it's got everything in there, everything from on-air lights to, to transmitters and studio equipment, camera dollies, TV cameras. It's all in there. And if anybody wants to come up and take a look through it, you're welcome to. Um, and uh, I just kind of figured that was kind of neat because... It, it's not actually a piece of equipment, but it certainly shows enough of it that I know that I'll never be able to own, but there's some pretty cool stuff in there. So 